The effort to control language is an effort to change the social fabric of the country. I was expelled from Syracuse University for comments that I posted on Facebook. Congress shall make no law abridging the freedom of speech has actually been abridged. People are afraid to say Merry Christmas at Christmas time. So I'm being punished for my biblical beliefs. And I get it. People like sensitivity more than truth in America. But PC is dangerous. Any state, any entity, any ideology that fails to recognize the worth, the dignity, the rights of man, that state is obsolete. There's such a fear in America of being politically correct and saying the right thing and not offending everybody. Everyone should be entitled to their own opinions and you shouldn't feel um, ashamed or, or like you're lacking something if you don't share the same opinion. I mean, we teachers, for example, have to be politically correct. But you can talk about sensitive subjects, whether it be homosexuality, whether it be uh, gay marriage, whether it be contraceptives. You have to be very careful about how you talk about such things. People are overly sensitive about other people's opinions. We're all entitled to our own opinions, and therefore we should be able to express ourselves freely and without being judged. If the youth today start to see what they want us to see, nothing else, they're going to conform us. Yeah, uh, where different groups will be saying, if you disagree with us, you know, you're wrong, you're anti-American. There's a bunch of short stories out there where it's, it's an analytical strategy where they're trying to say that the government is corrupt and they're trying to make us corrupt with them. The government seems to think that they can take away whatever they see fit regardless of any uh, prior commandment set down by other powers. I mean, there's a difference between opinions and obviously purposely um, attacking someone through words or violence, which I don't approve of. We can disagree with someone else's opinion so long as they're not higher than us. It's perfectly fine for someone to have a different view on a topic of controversy such as abortion or gay marriage, but they can't share it because they will be yelled at for their intolerance. And the ability to voice a conflicting opinion of someone, it seems to have been going away. People are not tolerant of a view of apparent intolerance. And apparently at this point, not agreeing with someone has become synonymous with hating them. So you are accused of being a hateful person. They're not willing to accept that there's going to be different opinions. And, and just because we don't agree on, on the same thing doesn't mean that we're, we're any worse than, the, than, than anybody else. Youth today have no right. I mean, we cl the Constitution claims to be giving us those rights. But in all reality, we don't have them. We can state our opinions, but they're never going to be heard until we turn at least 18. And even then, we have to go through Congress, we have to go through our, our state representatives, and we're just one person. If we believe something that they don't believe, we're never going to be heard. The foundation of a democracy is that the majority of the people know what's good for them, what they want, and not everybody is going to always agree on everything. But I do believe everyone should be entitled to their own opinion and, and to be able to live pretty much as they choose and not feel bad about it. What are teachers allowed to teach? Only what's being said by the legislatures uh, the middle class is like such a negative place to be right now. Uh, it's been a gradual eroding of that over the time and it seems, seems like it's getting worse. You always hear the far right and the far left and you hear each side is trying to limit everyone on all sides of the fence unless they um, think exactly what how they do. With freedom of speech being uh, 
oppressed by certain people. Piers Morgan had said after the Duck Dynasty incident that all Americans have the freedom of speech except for racist bigots. I don't agree with the racist bigotry. However, all Americans are entitled to the freedom of speech. What the economy is coming today and the government in general, it's just directed towards one man's opinion, not the people. Those that we've elected in the office to represent us need to represent us, we the people. It's the first words of the, con the preamble to the Constitution. I do feel really restricted in what I can and cannot say because people are not afraid to shoot you down and um, make your opinion wrong or illegal. I feel like for all intents and purposes I do have freedom of expression. However, the overall freedom is being eroded in America due to incidents of people being kicked out of things or being oppressed for expressing their views. So, do I still have my freedom? Yes, to an extent. Do I have the same freedom that I had 10, 20 years ago? No. I've had a lot of freedom of speech in my 40 years. Have I pushed that at times? Probably I have. Have I gotten away with it? Yeah, but probably because I'm careful about how I present it. I think you can talk about almost anything, just like you can with your own kids at home, depending on how you do it. A lot of people stumble in like a bull in a china shop. That's going to get you problems. Okay, people get offended too damn easily these days. You know, you can't do a single thing against anyone without the entire world flipping out, saying, you don't tolerate me. You don't respect everything I do. You offended me in the slightest little bit. And as a result, everything goes to crap, and it's not okay. I'm not feeling this anymore. Seriously. If I want to express myself and say my views, I have every right to do that. You cannot tell me I can't say how I feel because it offends you because I don't care. Suck it up and live with it. This concludes my portion of the interview. Thanks for listening. God, I really wish I could